Hi Capricorn, welcome to your important messages from Spirit Reading. This is your girl, Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Capricorn. So the veil is thin right now. We are entering a time of the year where the spirits come in very strongly. And I just wanted to take this opportunity as a high priestess myself to tap in to this powerful opening of the veil for your spirit guides, your angels and ancestors to come through for an important message for you. And this can impact any aspect of your life, love and romance, career and finances, spiritual evolution, but whatever spirit would like to talk about shall be said. And this could be a current situation or what's to come. So let's go ahead and get right on into it. First, I'm going to use my sound bowl here to clear and set the energy for you guys. So let's go ahead and take a deep breath in. And tune into the energy of Capricorn. All right, Capricorn, let's go ahead and see what spirit, your spiritual team, ancestors, angels want to talk to you about. So let's see the situation first with the tarot. Let's see. Tell me about what do you want to talk to Capricorn about, spirit? Ooh, so you guys have the six of imps. This is the six of wands in traditional tarot. Leo energy. You are standing out. You are someone people are talking about, are impressed by, are in awe of. You're getting attention and they want to talk about the attention you're getting. I do feel Capricorn, you're noticing a lot more people that are riding your coattails, whether that's in the career uh, work environment, whether that's like your friends, they want to be around you. Your light is engaging. And especially romantically, you have options. There are people who are wanting to get to know you, Capricorn, who are dying for a taste is kind of what I'm hearing. You have a spicy taste to you or someone likes spicy food. Um, in general, that's just confirmation about who I'm talking about here. But you're meant to stand out. You are meant to be in the spotlight right now, Capricorn, and this is your time to shine. So don't be afraid to put yourself out there too. You will be safe in doing it. You will be leaving people in awe, turning heads. And there's people who want to be with you romantically, who want to be on your team, in the career, want to be your friend. Because there's a special energy that you carry, Capricorn. Tell me more. So what you see right now is the Four of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Ooh, yeah, I kind of feel this is something that you're getting attention for is something you've been working at for a while. You planted the seeds, you're waiting, you held on to this idea, this person, and you knew in the right time it will come. You didn't push for anything, you weren't thirsty for anything, you were just saying, I'm planting the seeds of my intentions and let what it come will. And the seeds are growing now. You had to wait for that seed to burst through the soil. And now you're starting to see the rewards or the actions or the opportunities to come from this. Now, I also feel, Capricorn, I, I feel this is romance related for some of you, that someone is doing their best to impress you. They want to hold on to the connection. They want to hold on to your attention right now because they got your attention for sure. But they're doing things to kind of like plant these notions within your head of the two of you. They are smart, they have strategy, and they're patient. They're very patient because they know a prize like this is worth waiting for. That's how they see you, Capricorn. But others of you, yeah, this is something you've been working at. This is something you have definitely taken care of or taken care of as far as making sure it grows in the right way and the right form. You're holding on to something and you're making it work. What do they not see? What does Capricorn not see from this? Eight of pumpkins. 
Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. So, yeah, I think a lot of you guys, up until this Six of Wands happens for you, you've been working really hard, you've been persistent, you've been dedicated. And some of you just want to know if it's worth it. Some of you have felt like your effort has been taking a while for some sort of situation to come about. But your hard work is, is helping this come to fruition. You are dedicated. And maybe even, Capricorn, for some of you guys, Spirit is saying you're in the final push. Stay focused. Stay determined. Keep your eyes on it. Because this is something, there's still more work to do. But you got it. You're good at it. People know you're talented. People know you are, and you know, you just have that je ne sais quoi, let's just say, that special energy that is captivating. And I do want you to know your hard work is worth it. Your blood, sweat, and tears that you put into this coming to fruition for success, it means something, Capricorn. And for some of you, I wonder if this person that has romantic feelings for you is a co-worker. And I do feel what you don't see is, uh, especially if you have a lot of options around you romantically, there's someone that has been trying extra hard, but it's been difficult to impress you. Interesting. What is in the recent past of this situation? Two of Cups. Cancer energy, yeah, for some of you this is for sure romance. Um, there has been an emotional bond between you and someone else lately. Maybe some of you have shared your feelings in a very subtle way, but they picked up on the vibe. I wonder for some of you if you've just felt this special connection right when you met them. Something's growing between the two of you. I do feel a deep conversation that you had with someone very recently that is sticking with you that has inspired you to keep going and this doesn't have to be romantic it could be a friend it could be a family member a co-worker but that bond that you guys have created with someone else is something that is meant to last is something that is pretty solid here and you've created a telepathic emotional cord between you and this other individual and now you guys are tied there's fate here between the two of you. And you felt like talking to this person, you could tell them anything. You've told them about growing up. You've told them about, you know, your past and what you were proud of and maybe some secrets that were shared too that you usually don't tell people or vice versa, right? They told you something very private. But this connection has really sparked and there is someone that stand out, but maybe Capricorn, before you let them know they're interested, you want to see how badly they want this or if they're just faking this just to get what they want and dip later because you're not going to have that. But no, I, I feel with Two of Cups in the upright, this is genuine, authentic, real feelings that someone feels like they're developing for you. And I do feel with this two, two of Cups, I hear like kindred spirits, you two are. You have like the same vibe, you have the same you know, personality in a sense that flows very well together. You get along very well. And that's big for some of you guys. I don't know if an ex in the past was just dramatic, always picking fights with you, a friend that was just, you know, giving you backhanded compliments. No, this person's real. And they'll let you know if they feel this type of way. And that's something you can appreciate. What's in the near future? of the situation. Four of Wands, Aries energy. So a lot of earth and a lot of fire. Some of you could be dealing with the fire sign, uh, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, or another uh, earth sign, Virgo, another Capricorn perhaps, or Taurus. But I feel with this Four of Wands, there's gonna be a solid foundation of stability, of a partnership, you may be in a relationship very soon that is going to be exclusive, that they want to maintain. And there's two fours here. You could be seeing 444. Your birthday could be January 4th, January 14th, December 24th for some of you guys. But there is something that you are going to celebrate soon. 
you're getting the attention now, you're getting the notice now, you're getting the recognition now, people are talking about you in impressive ways, but in the near future, you're gonna see the results of it. There's gonna be a party for you, a celebration for you, people wanna go out with you. People wanna give you that special notice, Capricorn, that you do deserve. Some of you, this is a new home that you're working towards. Someone moving in with you that you've been talking about, but I do feel a successful partnership, a successful friendship, a successful business partnership that is meant to flourish, that is going to be very successful and stay successful. Bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Bats. Very interesting. Scorpio had this at the bottom of their deck. So if you're dealing with a Scorpio or if you have strong Scorpio in your chart, I suggest checking out the Scorpio reading to see if there's messages for you there. Yeah, with the Eight of Pumpkins of what I was kind of saying or Eight of Pentacles, um, that some of you may have been worrying, worrying about when this is to come, worrying if you made the right choice, worrying if, you know, you're reading all the signs wrong and there's, I don't know, some pessimistic thinking about, you know, your situation or how hard you work. Did you do enough? Absolutely, you did. And with this Nine of Swords too, you're going to soon find out, Capricorn, you don't need to worry. If it's even taken some time, it's taken some time for a reason. Divine timing may have been at work. But with the Six of Wands and the Four of Wands, that growth and that success is going to come a lot sooner than you think. With this Nine of Swords here, I do feel maybe if it's not even having to do with this specific situation around the Six of Wands, maybe there's just been a lot of stress going on in your life that's outside of your control. Um, drama, gossip, uh, backstabbing, I'm kind of hearing, that you went through this year. And I mean, as hard as it was to kind of go through that, I think that was meant to show you who's really with you on this journey and who's it's time to let go of. But it was hard to let go of that, maybe because you had so much high hopes for it. You really thought that that was the right thing that was going to lead you to your success, but it wasn't. So I think you really were just redirected to something better. And here it comes, Capricorn. All right, tell me more. Tell me more about this energy and this message that you have for my Capricorn spirit, Capricorn spirit team. Ooh, okay. So we have Barbara, and I'm so sorry. I'm Irish, but I don't even know how to pronounce this. If you know, comment below. It is an Irish bread um, made around this time, but it says sweetness and synergy. Yeah, and this is really correlating with the Two of Cups here. I do feel you guys are going to get your bread, first of all, just instinctually by looking at this card. The hard work is going to be worth it. The trust, the dedication, what you've already built is something that is meant to succeed, is what I want to tell you, Capricorn, especially in the partnerships you formed, the friendships you formed, the romances that you formed. It is ready to now bring out of the oven and enjoy. Because that before it was taking its time, but it was taking its time for a reason. And I do feel even with this Two of Cups energy, whether it is romantic or a friendship or a coworker, you saw the side of them that they shared with you that was really sweet. That was really caring. That they listened to you. You felt like they heard you, Capricorn. And that was something that meant a lot to you and proved something to you as well. But I do feel like what is happening in your life that's leading to this celebration, this happiness that you've been waiting for patiently, it's in the right time and the synergy of it is in your favor. There's a lot that's meant to happen now. There's a lot that you can accept and wait to see what happens with it. But I do feel as you're fueling the energy with positivity, with determination, you will have what you wanted from this. And it's going to turn out beautifully for you guys. Tell me more. 
What do your ancestors want you to know, Capricorn, right now about this message? What does Capricorn need to know right now about this message? I'm feeling very specifically for this Two of Cups energy, like this person in particular, you may have known them for a very long time, but it wasn't until very recently, the last few weeks or months, that you really started forming a connection with them. And you, some of you guys are like, why did this take so long? Like, this person's awesome. This person feels more like me than anyone else, but I didn't see it before. But anyway, you have family connections. And it says respect people and kinship. You are getting some respect. Respect is being put on your name. Even if the haters try to talk you out, most people aren't going to believe it because you are the evidence of what you're doing, what you're saying, what you're backing yourself up with. And people notice your actions. People see you, that the hard work you put in. That means a lot more to them than any gossip or rumors that people try to plant in someone else's mind about you, Capricorn. But I do also feel like you're meeting your soul tribe at this time. A lot of people that are supporting you, cheering you on, that are helpful to you, are the ones that are going to be with you for the long run. And I even feel for some of you guys where this is romance related, um, you know, they could be meeting your family. You guys could have been like family friends or you've known each other for a very long time. But um, I do feel like your family or their family's opinions matter to them a lot. And when they talk about you or introduce you, they're going to take you as one of their own. They're very supportive like that. But I do feel, Capricorn, uh, you are building a community of support. You're bu building a community of people that are ready to be there for you, to celebrate you, to help you out. And I think it's through your loyalty that you've built these types of connections here. And I feel for others of you guys, like, if it's not so 3D, it's definitely 5D. And the ancestors are watching over you. They are seeing that you are breaking generational patterns that they couldn't break. And they're proud of you for doing it. For taking new routes. For taking chances. For staying determined with this Four of Pentacles to hold on to it until it comes to fruition. That's something that has impressed them. You're ready for your feast is kind of what I want to say. Tell me more. For Capricorn. Hand fasting union. Yeah, I know. I knew this was romantic from the start. Uh, this could be the person you marry one day. I I'm just feel that even with the ring there that's shining, some of you may be celebrating an engagement soon. Or again, if it's not that serious, then it's definitely like you guys are taking each other seriously. You're moving to the next level. You are talking about moving in with one another. And I do feel that they only feel this way for you, Capricorn. And if you were worried if there was anyone else around, um, there's not in their eyes. You stand out from the rest with the six of wands for sure. And I think maybe some of you guys, if you did have options, like other people you're talking to, just curious about, there's something about someone you feel more certain and you may have to cut out those options and they're going to be sad because they would want you as their partner. But you two have something that is rare, I want to say. You two have something that maybe it took some time to develop, but now that it's ready, it's like... You know, it started from coal and now it's turned into a diamond type of thing, right? And I do feel both of you are ready for this. You're in alignment with each other and that's part of the synergy that's so powerful here in your reading, Capricorn. Someone could have a hand tattoo, a birthmark on their hand, or um, a scar on their hand. Just confirmation for someone out there. All right, tell me more. Tell me more about this message for Capricorn. Ooh, yes, beauty. 
They find you to be a rare beauty. You're very handsome. You were just given with some good looks, you know? And I think that captivated them. Even if they've known you for a while, like, so let's just say you guys known each other since like high school or college, but you guys reconnected at this time. They think like it, you've like glown up since then. And it says, embrace your unique style and own it. Let the world see who you really are. Consider careers doing hair, jewelry, clothing, or any job that enhances others' beauty. Your inner world must match your outer world for things to change. Someone could wear a black leather jacket all the time when going out. It's their like go-to jacket. Could just be a regular black zip-up jacket, a North Face or something like that. But with this beauty here, yeah. I do feel some of you guys have started to heal some sort of image about yourself, body images about yourself that no one else could see but you. That's been helpful in growing yourself into the synergy that you're coming into of allowing the blessings to come in and accepting that even if it takes some time, I'm still worthy of it. And others of you, I just have to say, like, with this beauty and stand out in the world with this six of wands, it was definitely a repetitive message that there's only one you, Capricorn. Everyone notices that, especially one particular person that has feelings for you. And yes, maybe the beauty is what captivated them at first, your handsomeness, but getting to know you, there's a beauty in the soul that can't be matched. They feel like they haven't found that within anyone else. And some of you that are in the beauty industry, whether that's makeup, hair, designing, modeling, that's part of your purpose here to bring beauty into this earth. Even if it's writing, even if it's design, uh, you know, it, interior design or graphic design, that's part of your purpose here. And you're going to be very successful in those types of fields. Tell me more. Some of you have been curious about those industries and you should do more research and getting into it because I think you have a natural gift and a natural talent for bringing beauty into this earth. Wow, yes, the love of your dragon reaches out to you. The realm of your truth is opening up. Some of you are born near the dragon, could have a dragon tattoo. Um, but with this energy here, yeah, I feel that there's a power growing within you and the starting to see the evidence of what you wanted, what you hoped for is also adding to the power you're recognizing within yourself. But again, like I almost see this dragon in this woman, like the dragon's just so taken away by this woman in the card here. Like there's a powerful hunger for you, a powerful desire for you. And I do feel now that they know that you two have something special, there's not much that's going to stop them. You feel a fire within them that not many can do. Not many will do, except you. And I think as you guys open up to this, as you receive this, as you are starting to see the evidence of it, it's solidifying something powerful here between the two of you. All right, Capricorn, let's go ahead and get one more card and see what your spirit wants to wrap up this reading with. Any words of advice, anything else spirit can tell you about this particular message that spirit wants you to hear. Anything else for Capricorn? Yeah, far away places. And it says, get ready for new horizons. So this could be literal. Some of you are planning international trips or even, like I said, your business could grow like globally can go to another level, not just within a small community, but really take off somewhere. Or maybe even you will be asked for a job to travel. But I feel for others of you, like this is the new horizon you are entering by the success of what you've shown, of what you've proven to yourself and others. The opportunity to go even further with it, to go the distance with it, you absolutely will. Someone could have like a Chinese character tattoo as well or like Chinese character home decorations, paintings within um, your house or something like that. 
but you are meant to go this distance or whatever you've been so successful in or meant to be successful in will go the distance and you will reach your final de destination with success, with endurance, financially, spiritually, emotionally. This was meant for you, Capricorn. Thank you so, so much for joining me for this reading. I really hope it resonated with you. I hope it gave you the clarity, insight, healing, confirmation, and guidance that you were looking for by watching this message. If it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Capricorn, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Capricorn.